And tonight, people in Pascagoula still need to boil their water. The city now identifying the primary cause as a leak found at Ingalls Shipyard. Leslie Rojas brings us the latest. Faucet water still isn't safe to drink in Pascagoula. Water notice is primarily precautionary. We just want to make sure citizens stay safe. It's been two days since a boil water notice was issued on Christmas Eve. City manager Michael Silverman says many factors contribute to this. The extremely low temperatures, there were some breaks in different areas, but the primary reason for the boil water notice being issued was there was a substantive amount of water that was lost at the East Bank Ingalls facility, and that contributed to the uh, water table going down uh, quite low. Repairs have been made, but don't fill your cups up just yet. Yes, they have done repairs, but given that the temperature is still really cold, there have been additional breaks, and our public works department has been tirelessly working over the holidays to get those areas fixed. But once we reach the appropriate water threshold, samples can be taken and sent to micro methods for sampling per. Water samples are expected to be pulled and sent to the lab for 24 hour testing on Tuesday. We keep all our citizens informed about what's going on. Again, we want to apologize for the impact that has taken place over the holidays, but our team is working tirelessly to make sure we can get this matter resolved as quickly as possible. In Pascagoula, Leslie Rojas, WLOX News Now. We'll continue following this situation closely over the coming days. Stay with us for updates.